Good evening, Eduardo and Reina. How are you? Good evening, good evening. Very stressed. Very stressed. What happens? Today is Friday. I have three hours in the traffic in central San Salvador. Three hours in San Salvador eh, in the center, you said? Downtown? Traffic. Yes. Oh my God. Is there any reason? I don't know the reason. Oh, Many sorry. people say that uh, Miss University uh, work in the set, in the downtown, but I don't see the Miss University or <laughs> Miss Universe. Miss Universe. Miss Universe. Oh I my God! See. I'm so sorry to hear about For example, that. I I I was out uh, at. 5 p.m. the Seguro Social. Mm -hmm. And I okay working for the OI driving near to the Plaza San Jacinto. Mm -hmm. so three hours in the traffic. Three hours. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of time. Yeah, it's already 8 p.m. So yeah, it's a lot of time. My goodness. I'm so sorry to hear about that. But well, do you work tomorrow? Do me? Do you work tomorrow? Yes, I work uh, at that a a.m. at two twelve p.m. Oh, I see. Well, try to rest. All right. So, and thank you for being responsible in joining the class. All right. Well, let's see. Oh, uh, Ursula. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Better, thank you. Better, excellent. Are you going to be able to participate in the activities tonight? Yes, teacher. Yes, great, excellent. Okay. Thank you, Ursula, for confirming. Um, well, Daniel, it says there, listener. All right, so good evening, sir. Just saying hi. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Are you going to participate later? Sí, voy a tratar. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much. All right. So we are just like giving one more minute to our classmates to see if they can join the class. And then we will continue with this one. Okay, great, excellent. So we are going to start officially, right? So I just want to say thank you very much for every to everybody who participated uh, in the last class, right? So and also I want to say thank you very much to all of you guys who are uh, connected on time, right? So I really appreciate your responsibility. Uh, I can also say good evening to Edwin, which is a listener. So hi, my friend. And uh, let's just continue with this one. Well, um, it seems to be that I only have, let's see here, well, Nuria is joining, Eduardo is driving, and Ursula is going to be the one participating, right, Ursula? So you're going to, most likely, you're going to be my first volunteer tonight. All right. So let's see. What's the first activity here? So we go on this one. You know, as every night, I like to start with the tongue twister so you can actually um 
practice your pronunciation and put into practice the specific sounds right here, right? So uh, let's say this one, it says right here. Um, okay, thank you, Evelyn. So it says, the peppy poppy the prince presented, the princess produced piles of pop in the palace. Easy, right? So no more difficulties, right? So remember one more time, it says like, the peppy poppy the prince presented, the princess produced piles of poop in the palace, right? So there you go. So remember, you will have a couple of minutes to practice this easy tongue twister. You will have actually two minutes to practice it, all right? And after that, I will select some volunteers. Well, the ones I have available tonight, so I can listen to your participation regarding the tongue twister, right? So please practice one more time, please, please, please remember. The peppy poppy the prince presented, right? The princess produced piles of food in the palace. That's what we need to work on right now. Mm -hmm. Continue, continue, continue. If you have questions about how to pronounce it, please let me know, all right? Or perhaps you have questions about the pronunciation. Teacher is piles. Piles, correct. Piles, produce. Produce. Produce, mm -hmm. produce piles. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, one more minute, people, one more minute. Welcome back, Mr. Pardo. It's a pleasure to have you here. All right, excellent. So time's up, ladies and gentlemen. So now that I have more volunteers, let's see who can help me with this one. So I have here as possible volunteers. Let me see. Well, Ursula, Nuria, Noe, and uh, Jill. Oh, Jill, good evening. What a surprise, All right? Hello. So you want to be the volunteer? Go ahead. Okay. The Peppy Poppy, the prince present the princess produce piles of poop in the palace. In the palace. All right. Excellent. That was almost, almost, almost perfect. I'll tell you what happens right here. So take a look. This one, it says this verb is in past. That's the reason why it's supposed to be with ED here. All right, so a name, you pronounce it as presented. All right, can you, can you try one more time? Okay. The, the puppy puppy, the prince present, 
the prince produce piles of poop in the palace. Thank you. Don't forget, this is prince and this is princess. All right. No problem. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the effort and thank you for being actually the volunteer number one tonight, right? So very good job. So thank you. All right. Who's my next volunteer, people? Me, teacher. Hello, Nuria. Please go ahead, my friend. The Peppy Poopy, the prince presented, the princess produced piles of poop in the palace. Thank you very much. Just remember that this is right here is no poopy. This is like a letter O. All right. So you said like poppy. Poppy. The Peppy Poop, the Peppy Poppy. Mm -hmm. One more time. Okay. The Peppy Poppy, the prince presented, the princess produced piles of poop in the palace. Perfect. Good job. Excellent. So you were doing a very good job with this one as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Okay. So let's just continue with this one right here. Um, now tell me another volunteer. Mm -hmm. From the ones who can participate, of course, right? Because I have a lot of people connected, but not everybody can participate and that's okay. All right. So let's see, perhaps Evelyn, Henry, Catherine, um, Ursula, anybody else? Noe, perhaps? Hello, hello. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ursula. Go ahead, my friend. The petty copy the prince presents the princess brother's style of pop in the palace. Thank you very much. You were doing a very good job with this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Super good as usual. All right, excellent. So let's see, one more. One more, please, so we can finish with this activity. Well, actually, I need two more. Uh-huh. Who can be the next one? Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Evelyn? Henry? Catherine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Henry, ah, Henry, you removed the microphone. We could hear you. <laughs> All right. Okay, teacher. Yo voy entrando, pero voy a intentar. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Okay. The Peppy Poppy, the prince presented the princess produce piles of pop in the pile, palace. Excellent. Just remember it's palace. Palace. Palace, correct. Palace, 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 palace. Okay. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. And thank you for trying, right? I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, everybody, we are going to uh, stop right here with this activity and we are going to move forward uh, with the next activity for tonight, which is the following here. So take a look. Okay, what happens right here? There you go. Okay, what's next in this one? So we are going to have a review, a review of what we were studying the last class, right? So which is going to be, um, it will be, will be better, right? So as you remember, will be better. What's the meaning of will be better, my friends? Hello? Podría ser mejor. Mm -hmm. No podría, it would be just Sería mejor. Sería mejor. Sería mejor, exactly. All right. And then you go like this one. So now, what are we going to do? We have like five sentences right here. The sentences are not in order and we need to, you know, organize them to unscramble the sentences, of course, right? So let's see. Can you tell me, we have here, for example, this phrase. We have this phrase right here, and we have this phrase right here. Which is the first phrase that we're supposed to use there, my friends? Mm -hmm. What's the first part of the sentence in this case? Mm -hmm. Perfect. 
Hello? Uh, it will, will be better to avoid rush or traffic to leave early. All right, so it will, let me just use red in this case, so it can be different. Okay, so it said it will be better uh -huh. to avoid to avoid rush our traffic rush our traffic to leave early to leave early that's what my friend has here right would you agree with this one my friends yes or no mm -hmm. hello everybody else what do you think Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Maybe teacher, it will be better to leave early to avoid mm -hmm. rush or traffic. It's another like this way? Possibly. Yes. That's actually correct because it says like sería mejor salir más temprano para evitar el tráfico de la hora pico. That's what it means, rush hour, hora pico. Right? Thank you, Ursula, for the correction. And thank you, Nuria, for trying, right? Which would appreciate it. So let's see here. There you go. And then we continue with the next one right here. Uh, number two. So now we have, a, it says, to make a decision, it will be better. I think to wait until tomorrow. What is the first part of the sentence, my friends? Can you tell me? Yes. Hello, everybody. What do you think? It would be better to make a decision. I think to wait until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that the first part right here is supposed to be it. One it second. would be better. It would be better. Is that correct? Is that what you said? It will be better. To yeah. make a decision. To make a decision. Uh-huh. I think. I think. To wait, to wait until tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right. Okay, so now that we have the sentence organized in this way, so what do you think? It's actually correct or not? Mm -hmm. Yes? What do you think? Is it correct or not? I think not. Uh -huh. What would be the correction that you will make on this sentence? Mm -hmm. I think. Yay. It is only one little change. So you go from this one to this one. I think it will be better to make a decision to wait until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Like that, my friends? Yes or no? Hello, hello? Any other? Change to wait until tomorrow to make a decision. Yay, that's okay. the correct one. It will be better 
to wait until tomorrow to make a decision. That's the correct answer. That is correct because it says, yo pienso que sería mejor esperar a mañana para tomar una decisión. So yes, that's the correct answer. Thank you, Ursula, for helping us. There you go. All right. So now we continue with the next one right here. So what is this one? Can you help me? It's easier. Mm -hmm. What will be the correct answer for you here? Yes. What's first? It will be better. Mm -hmm. It will be better. It will be better. Mm -hmm. Yes. It will be better. To save money. To save money. To save money. Uh-huh. Save money. Yes. What else? Hello? Mm -hmm. It will be better mm -hmm. to save money mm -hmm. instead of spend it all at once. Instead of Spending, spending it all at once. At once. All right. Thank you, Guillermo. Sorry for the interruption before. So to use this one, it will be better to save money instead of spending it all at once. So yeah, that will be also correct. All right. Thank you very much, Guillermo, for helping me with that one. What about number four? Can I get some help for number four? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's analyze number four right now, right? It, it will be better. Mm -hmm. it, will, it will be better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, to apologize. To apologize. To apologize. Uh huh. And and learn from from it. Mm -hmm. And then for your mistake, like that. For your mistake. Will that be okay? Um. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Teacher, you tell know, me. Creo que it would be better to apologize for mm -hmm. your mistake mm -hmm. and learn from it. No and sé. learn from it. Correct. That's actually the correct answer, right? So it will be better to apologize um, for your mistake and learn from it, like this one. Thank you. So it was almost correct. We just have to switch the last two phrases, right? Thank you very much. And what about the last one? So we can finish with this activity. What will be the last one right here? Mm -hmm. It would be it better. Mm -hmm. Continue. To well to work and get mm -hmm. some exercise. Mm -hmm. And 
get some exercise. It will be get, it will be better to work and get some exercise. Right? Mm, it would be better to walk to work. Ah, okay. To walk. To work and get some exercise. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is actually correct. So you go on this one right here. That's correct. That's correct. This is correct. This is also correct. And this is also correct right here. So thank you. Thank you very much on this one. So you guys were doing a very good job on this one. All right. Hey, I have a question for you. Do you have any questions regarding a vocabulary or the pronunciation here? Yes or no? Hello, hello? No, teacher. A boy rush, three teacher. Rush hour what is, is? In the, is in the group, my friend. It's the last thing I said. Can you check it out? Okay. In, I'm sorry, it's not in the group. It's in uh, the chat here in Zoom. Okay. You got it? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, anything else? Any other word? Mm -hmm. No, okay, no problem. So let me just uh, send you this screenshot to the WhatsApp group so you can keep it and check it later, right? So let's see. Now, let's just continue with the topic for tonight. All right, so for tonight's topic, so we're going to be reading uh, about quality and the quality process so we can understand a little bit better um, how does this work, all right? So for this one, I will need two volunteers. The first volunteer that is going to help me here, all right, so this volunteer is going to help me to read number one, number two, and another volunteer for number three, number four. Who's my first volunteer? Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. Go ahead, my friend, and start with number one and two. Okay. The first is a uh, quality. is one of the main core strategies of our world-class organization in an um, integral element of their structure and culture. The number two, the quality drive productivity. Productivity, right? Thank you very much. So you go on this one right here. So quality is one of the, what is like main car strategies, people? Can you tell me what is it? Mm -hmm. What is a main car strategy? Hmm? Try it is estrategia principal. Aha, exactly. So like the main core strategy, it would be just like something similar to um estrategia central principal, if you want to say, right? So yes, that's correct. All right, thank you. And then you go on the next one. So of a world class organization in an integral element of their everybody, please repeat structure. Repeat it. Structure. Structure. There you go. Remember that there is no A here, right? So what you have to do, it's very simple. You can only say structure, right? That's how you say it. Structure. There you go. And then this one right here, culture. Please repeat it. Culture. Culture. Thank you very much. All right. So what does it mean? All right. So it says like caridad. It's uno de las. What was main course strategies? Estrategia central principal, yes. Of a world class, all right? So it's an integral, an important element of the structure and the culture. It says here, quality drives productivity, all right? So you know that the verb drive means manejar or conducir un auto, right? But what's the meaning of quality drives uh, productivity? What is it? Mm -hmm. Como manejo de productividad. 
Mm, yeah, it makes sense, right? But in this case right here, uh, when you said like quality drives productivity, all right? So the bear drives, it can have a different meaning, all right? So normally it could be eh, nos conduce a la productividad. So podemos decir quality, la calidad nos conduce a la productividad o también significa impulsar, right? La calidad impulsa la productividad. So any, any of them is going to be accepted as correct. Thank you. So thank you, eh, Karen, for helping me with that one. So I can see Noé is also a volunteer. So Noé can help me with the number three and number four. Go ahead, my friend. Okay, teacher. Quality reference to the degree of excellence, excellence or superiority mm -hmm. of some time. Mm -hmm. And the number four? Number Number four, four, it is a measure of, of how well uh, an item service or experience, experience meets or sur, surprise is intelligent pur, purpose or expect, expectation. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much for helping me with that one. Noel. You did a good job. Now let's review the pronunciation of some of the letters we have right here. I mean, some of the words, that's what I'm trying to say. So you go on this one right here and it says like, for example, everybody please repeat, especially Noé, excellence. Repeat it. Excellence. Excellence. Exactly, excellence. right? And then remember that this is not sometime, this is something. Repeat it. Something. There you something. go. Something. Good job. All right, so then you go on this one right here measure please repeat it measure measure measure, measure. all right this measure. one here measure. you pronounce it as you can see it's written right you said eating but that's not correct right the correct pronunciation goes with an, this one i item item, item. Mm -hmm. and this one right here item. surpasses repeat it surpasses surpasses Okay, and what is surpasses, my friends? Do you know it? Surpasses. What is it? Surpresa. Uh, no, not really, right? So surpasses, it's superar. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's conjugated already in the third person in simple present, right? And then you go on this one, intended. Repeat, intended. Intending. Intended. All right. I have a question for you. Intended. What is intended purpose? What is intending purpose? Yes. Any idea? Mm -hmm. Como superar su propósito. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, all right? So, intended purpose, it means su finalidad prevista, all right? So, that's actually what this is, um, the meaning of the word, right? And then, the pronunciation of the last word, which is expectations, right? So, thank you. Thank you, Noel, for helping me reading, and also to the previous girl who was reading as well. Uh, I really appreciate that. So, now... Let's just go on this one. What is quality? Well, quality, as you can see, it helps us to measure. Remember what is measure, my friends? Mm -hmm. What is measure? Do you remember it? Yes or no? Una percepción? Uh, not really. It's medir, right? So, medir, okay. Yeah, it's the bare medir. Measure, eh, it's medir, right? So it's una medida de cómo que también está un eh, artículo, un servicio o una experiencia, right? Y que la experiencia cumpla o sobrepase lo, la finalidad prevista o las expectativas, right? That's actually what quality is. So for example, apply in a restaurant context. So we're talking about quality and it's talk about restaurants. You can go to a different branch, remember? All right, so branch. So you can go to a different branch, right? And the food has to taste exactly 
the same, right? So for example, when you go to a pizza restaurant to say something, right? Such as Pizza Hut or Papa John's. It doesn't matter if you go to Metro Centro, if you go to Galerias, or if you go to La Gran Vía. So the, the, the flavor or the pizza has to taste exactly the same, right? So because that's actually what the quality is about, making sure that uh, the service experience, the product meets uh, the customer's expectations, right? Uh, remember people, what's the meaning of meat in this context? Meat, what is it? Yes? Mm -hmm. No idea, no problem. All right, so meet the expectation that that would be something similar as saying eh, cumplir con la expectativa, of course, right? So you have this one right here. That's how you understand it, right? So thank you. And then you go on the next one. Eh, my friends, do you have questions about the vocabulary? Any word that you don't know or any um, phrase perhaps that is not clear so I can explain this again? Yes or no? Okay, bleep, bleep for... bleep, teacher. Excuse me? Can you repeat that one more time? Hello? Creo que puede repetir, por favor, teacher. Uh, to repeat what? Like the explanation or, or, or what do you want me to repeat? ¿Qué le gustaría que le repitiera, my friend? Tell me. La pregunta que, que hizo. Oh, okay. So I was asking if you have any questions about the phrases or anything. Vocabulary, pronunciation, anything. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. Eso yeah. le estaba preguntando, no. right? Acerca de no, vocabulario no. o alguna pregunta que ustedes tuvieran. Yo solo tengo duda de cómo dijo que se pronunciaba la palabra esta que está abajo de Mesh. Surpasses. You got it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Hey, can I continue? Yes, you can. Yes, okay, no problem. So let's continue with this one. Oops, let me clean this thing here. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Excellent. So I hope you are paying attention, right? Because if you don't have questions for me, I have questions for you. Okay, in a moment, of course. So let's see this one right here, ladies and gentlemen. So I need a volunteer who can help me to read the first paragraph right here. Who can help me to read the first paragraph? Mister. Thank you very much, my friend. Can you please go ahead and read it? In most cases, the quality department in a organization plans, mm -hmm. measures, analysis, and reports on quality. This is a staff function to support other departments in the day-to-day -day improvement of products and service. Thank you very much, Nuri. I really appreciate that one. So you did a very good job. So now let's just continue with this one right here. Let's review some pronunciation details here, all right? So the first one right here, remember that this is plural. So we are going to pronounce it as cases. Repeat it. Cases. Uh, thank you. And the same happens exactly here. So we go with services. 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 Yeah. Thank you very much. And then this one, it's analysis. Repeat it. Analysis. Mm -hmm. There you go. And this one, analyze. analyze, analyze, like Z at the end, analyze. 
and this one analyze or analyzes. Okay, the, the, the base form here it will be analyze, but the pronunciation in this case is going to be analyze. Analyzes. Mm -hmm. And then in here, this word right here, remember that the letter U, it's not pronounced. It's pronounced like a letter O, like function. Repeat it. Function. Function. Exactly. All right. So thank you very much on this one right here. So okay, now, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I need another volunteer. So you guys, I'm someone can help me. Sorry here. Uh, with this one here, which is going to be the quality management, and then with the number one and number two. Another volunteer, please. Thank you, Noe. Please continue. Uh, number one, uh, quality pl planning. The method of classifying the quality me measure measures mm -hmm. rel related to the project. Mm -hmm. um, determine determining who mm -hmm. to re reach ten. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, quality improve improvement. Mm -hmm. The the deliberate setting of a process to uh, enhance the revolu resolution mm -hmm. or suffering of the result. Result. All right. Thank you, Noe. I truly appreciate it, right? So what a great effort you just did here. Okay, so now let's just continue with this one and let's review the pronunciation right here. Everybody, please repeat it with me. Management. Repeat it. Management. Exactly. All right. So with the management. All right. And what is management? Do you remember what is management? Mm hmm what is management? Gerencia. Yay, that's correct. All right, so uh, it could be like that one, gerencia, uh, administración, if you want to call it in different words, right, of course. But yeah, it's basically that one, All right? Management, gerencia. That's why we have the manager, which is el gerente, of course, right? And then we continue with the next word right here. So let's see. What's the meaning of um, this one right here? Uh, planning. Repeat, my friends. Planning. 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 What is planning? Planet. Planificación. Planificación. Muy bien. Uh -huh. What else? Uh -huh. Let's see this one right here. And now we continue with this one. Method of classifying the quality measures. What was measured? Let's see if you remember. What was measures? Medida. Ajá, las medidas o mide eh, relacionado al proyecto determinado y cómo alcanzarlo, right? So that is actually super important right here because like, you know, that's why it says quality planning. ¿Qué es lo que pretendemos alcanzar? How do you pretend to like reach it, right? So you need to create a plan eh, to, to be able to understand what are you evaluating, right? O qué es lo que se pretende Realizar aquí. That's why it says planning. And then we have quality improvement. What is quality improvement? It's going to be this one very simple. Um, then you go on like the deliberate setting of a purpose. Aha, I need your help on this one. Setting of a purpose. What is that? Setting of a purpose. What is it? Como organizar los procesos. Uh -huh. Do you remember what was the meaning of set? Just set? This one? Las herramientas de ordenar. Ah, organizar, establecer. All right, so a proceso para enhance. That, huh? What was enhance? That's a word that we remember. Uh -huh. What was it? Uh -huh. What is it? Enhance. You remember that one, I'm pretty sure about this one because we reviewed that in the last class, my friends. <laughs> what was it? Mejorar. Mejorar, exactly. Era parte del, de la, 
del tema que usábamos con el y it will be better, ¿verdad? Exactly, so mejorar. So we can continue with this one. Entonces, vemos aquí that improvement también significa mejorar. So eso es la calidad de la mejora. ¿sí? El establecimiento de procesos para mejorar la resolución eh, segura de un resultado. All right? That's like the first part right here. Thank you, my friends. Now let's continue with the number three and number four. Volunteers? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Henry. Please continue. Quality control, the progressive attempt to sub support a process. Honesty and safety <laughs> delivering and outcome. Quality, quality. Yeah. Quality. Assurance, the last one, right? Ass okay, thank you. Assurance, the regular or recommended action needed to offer and now sec security so that particular service or goods will fasten mm -hmm. the definite requirements. Requirements. Requiring me. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for this one, right? I truly appreciate it. So that was actually um, something really good. Now let's just review the vocabulary, right? As we expected right here. So take a look to this one right here. The quality control, so the progressive attempt to support a process honesty and safety in the delivering outcome. All right, what can we understand as the delivering outcome, my friends? What is it? Delivering an outcome. What is delivering an outcome? Can you tell me? Eh, a domicilio y para llevar. Mm -mm -mm. All right. The delivering, yes, is entregar, for sure, right? But what is an outcome? Entregando un resultado. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's actually what it means, right? Por eso dice. Outcome is resultado. Outcome, exactly. Outcome. Okay. All right. Thank and you. Then, you're welcome. And what is the meaning of attempt? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning, my friends, of attempt? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? No problem. I will send you this right now to the chat. Intento. Right? That's actually what it means. El attempt is el intento. Okay, okay, okay. And you go on this one right here. Okay, let's continue with this one right here. The quality assurance. It says the regular recommended actions need to be offered. Uh -huh. What else? Okay, so it goes on this one right here, my friends, as you can see it right here. So, for example, the regular recommended actions you need to offer enough. What is enough? Mm -hmm. Suficiente. Suficiente. Yay, suficiente. Seguridad, so that a particular service or goods will fasten the defined requirements. All right. So, estamos viendo aquí cómo funciona el quality department. So, we have been studying how the quality departments work. All right. Y qué son las acciones que un quality department um, toma, right? Para poder determinar el, um, let's say, the process, of course, de un eh, manejo de calidad, of course, right? Now, I have a question for you, everybody. Do you have questions? One more time. Do you have questions? No question, teacher. Okay. 
if you don't have questions for me, I have questions for you. Teacher. What? Uh, uh, quality assurance. Mm -hmm. You want to know yes. the of quality assurance? Number four. Mm -hmm. You want to know what's that in Spanish? Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Good. Excellent. So it's just like a eh, seguro de calidad, for example. Quality assurance. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, cool. All right. So now, if you don't have questions for me, I have questions for you. And not even one or two or three. I have more. Excellent. <laughs> it's time for you to have a comprehension test. Because I know you, my dear students, have been paying attention during the whole class about the topic, right? Now you will be able to answer the questions in a fast way, of course, right? So that's the reason why we are going to be working in groups in the breakout rooms trying to answer the questions that you can see there, all right? Before we go to the breakout rooms, let me uh, send this here. One second. All right, I will be sending the previous slides to the WhatsApp group so you can see them. Don't worry. Of course, you can actually check this as well here. One quick second. So you have this information right there as well, my friends. Don't worry. So let's see here. It's going to be there in a moment. Okay, so let's see here. That's the first one, and I go with the second one right now. I'm sending this right now, one sec. Oh my God. Okay. Sending the second one. Perfect. So there you have the second one. So you already have the information as well. And of course, I'm going to send a copy of the questions, all right? So you can see the questions as well when you practice. Now, what are we going to do? It's gonna be very easy here. To answer the questions based on the information that we were reading and discussing before. All right, excellent. Let's continue right now. Okay, now let me verify here. Let me stop the share. And then we can go to the breakout rooms right here. Let me check attendance right here. So let's see. Um, well, Eduardo, did you arrive home or are you still in traffic? Probably in traffic. I home in the 30 minutes. Okay. okay, I got it. Thank you. All right. So then we continue with this one. Uh, Maritza, can you participate? Yes, I can. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, Sonia, are you going to be able to participate? Love to share. Sí, ya puedo. Ya estoy en mi casa. Excellent. Thank you, Sonia. All right. 
Mr. Membreño, are you able to participate? By the moment, no, teacher. Not at the moment. No problem. No problem. All right. So let's see this one. So we are going to move here. This one. All right. Excellent. Uh, Jill and Catherine, can you participate? Yes, teacher. That was Catherine. And Jill? No, teacher. You cannot participate. Okay. So let's see here. Evelyn, Noe? Yes, I am ready, teacher. All right. Evelyn, Evelyn? Hello, Evelyn. Okay, Henry. Can you participate? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Guillermo and Nuria. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Reina, can you participate? Okay. Uh, Ursula, would you be able to participate tonight? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Thank you, Ursula. So let's see. Uh, okay, let me organize the rooms right here. Uh, let's see here. What else? Okay, one second. Okay, so let's see. So Jill, I'm sorry, it was just clear. You said you cannot work right now, right? You cannot participate, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, I have organized the rooms in a way that everybody can join the rooms. If you can now participate at the moment, no problem. Join the group and then you are just listening, right? And then if you can participate, please go ahead and... Um, discuss the information there, all right? So please accept the request and then access to the group. Guillermo, you said you can participate, right? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. So, did you receive the request? Yes. Okay, please join the group. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, so the ones who are going to be here, I will go to a different room to see how they are doing. And then if you need assistance, just let me know.
Uh -huh. Sonia, Maritza, you are the ones who can participate, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Eduardo. Sonia. Eduardo is driving. Um, Hola. Uh -huh. Well, Eduardo is in the downtown. Looking at the new universe models. Uh -huh. Okay, Sonia is there, so you she can participate with you. Okay, yes. solo estoy abriendo aquí mi computadora para ya trabajar. Right. Okay, cool. Okay, I will go to a different group. If you need help, you can call me, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, teacher. You're welcome. Vaya, entonces lo que vamos a hacer es contestar... No Spanish. Creí que ya no estaba el teacher. Bye. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. And then number four, what does quality measure? Quality measure. It will be. The the letter D. D is a measure the structural integrity of the of the product or service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The number D. Letter B. Letter B. Mm -hmm. What's the word? This C. Number five. What is the primary tools of the quality department in um, session? To analyze the report of quality to our high department day to day improvement at for. Remember that if you have questions, I'm here to help. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. It's a... Uh... Hey.
To plan an issue quality. To plan an issue quality. Okay, guys, I will go to a different room, okay? If you need help, call me. Okay, thank you, Dish. Thank you. Uh-huh, well done. Uh -huh. good evening. You finished? Evening, teacher. No yet. No yet? I read the. No yet. Okay, no problem. What is the primary role of the quality department in, in an organization? You know, A, to analyze, analyze and report on quality. You know, B, to oversee all departments that today improvement effort effort you know see the plan and measure quality leader d to enhance enhance the resolution or Suffer or the result. Okay. <coughs> what do you think? Okay. La función principal del departamento. That is in the second image. Mm -hmm. Para mí está como en to plan en major quality y dos sí. Es es plans, measures, analyzes and reports quality. So what is it? I think it is letter D. Letter D? D. The last one. The last one. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Your principal analyze to analyze the level of quality. Mm. I don't know. Leader A, no. To all the all the parents, type. Leader B. Yes. Leader B. A supervisor. All, all the parents, day to day, improvement for. Yes. Yeah, see. Mm -hmm. I read number six. Which what number? element of quality number six? Which element of quality management focuses on classifying quality measures for a project? Quality planning, quality improvement. Quality control, quality assurance. Remember, so it says quality management focuses. So you go to the image that says quality um, manage. 
Which element is quadrant management focuses on classifying quadrant measures for a project? Huh? Okay, it's measures. Busca la palabra measures. Sería el one, two, three, or four. Um, Ahí la palabra clave es see. measures. Letter? Measure. Letter C, quality control. No. No. Recuerde, la palabra clave ahí sería measures. Ahí en el número 6 dice, which element of quality management focuses on classifying quality measures for a project? De los yeah, cuatro. Uh -huh. Acuérdense que los, los elementos son cuatro, ¿eh? los que están ahí. Planning, improvement, control sí. y assurance. Pero de esos, uno es el que measures. Esa es la palabra Letter clave. A. Letter A, teacher. Letter A, quality planning. Vamos a ver. Oh. Correct. That's correct. Ahí está la palabra measures. Right? Letter A. Okay. Read number seven. Everything. Okay. What does quality control pre ¿Cómo se pronuncia el Primary. 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 Pa primary. 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 Mm. I do. Hay palabritas esta que me cuesta. <laughs> Actual. Actual. <laughs> Así es que porque me toca ¿no? Little A enhancing the resolution or suffering of the result. Little B keeping the process integrity of and suffering. Little C of hola safety safety okay. Little C offering a now security for a specific good of service. Little D supporting other departments in, in providing products and service. Aquí es como que, uh, what does quality control be more? Primary. Letter B, maybe. Primary. In the process, integrity, integrity and safety. Que pre, es como que pretende lograr lo de control de calidad, algo así. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es? ¿A qué le apuntan? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think letter B. Keeping the process integrity and safety. In safety. Quality control primary. Quality control. Safety to of the result. Correct. Ahí la palabra clave es safety. La última palabra de letter B. Correct, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number eight. What is the purpose of quality insurance? Assurance. Enhancing the resolution of safety of the result, planning and measuring quality, providing enough security for a specific core service, overseeing day-to-day -day improvement effort in all departments. Overseeing yes. everything, quality assurance. Polinesia. Polinesia. I think there's C. Uh, no. Uh, letter C. Yeah, C as in Charlie. 
Yes. Letter C. Yes. Yeah, that's the correct one. Mm -hmm. Okay, we All finish. Right. Great, excellent. So we are going to stop right here and then we are going to return to the main sessions, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you for participating. Okay, okay, so we are just waiting for um, everybody else to join the class again so we can continue with the next activity here. Okay, everybody, welcome back. So we are going to continue here. And I want you to please select the correct answers, right? Oops, it's supposed to be this one, my bad. That's the correct one. What happens with the questions? Here is, thank you. Okay, everybody, so I need a volunteer for answering the question. So what is gonna be the question number one? Tell me. Question number one, volunteer. Manager. Okay, remember, you need, Manager. To, you need to read the question and then give me the answer, okay? Okay, teacher. Please continue. What is the, what is the rule, rule of quality in a world class organization. Mm -hmm. uh, answer it is one of the main core strategies. One of the main core strategies. So he's saying this one right here. Everybody else agree or disagree? I agree, teacher. Yay, that's correct. All right. Just remember, my friend, right here, the pronunciation of this word is wrong. Repeat it. Roll. Correct. Thank you, Noe. Good job on this one. All right. So we can continue here in this one. Thank you. All right. Oops. I don't want to confuse you here. There you go. Excellent. So let's see. Another volunteer now for number two. Me, teacher. Me teacher. Okay. Yes. Number two will be Nuria. Number three can be you, Henry. Okay. Okay. How does quality affect Productivity. Mm -hmm. uh, let it, A, it has no effect on productivity. B, it's in unrelated, unrelated. to productivity. Mm -hmm. Unrelated to productivity. Mm -hmm. Letter C, it drives productivity. Dog. Y letter D, it hinders productivity. Um, the, the, it's letter C. Correct. It drives productivity, right? Thank you very much. You did it correctly, right? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, Henry, what about number uh, three? Okay. How can quality be defined? Mm -hmm. Either A, it refers to the degree of mediocrity or inferiority of some type. Mm -hmm. Little b it, it is a subjective concept with how clear criteria little c it refers to the degree of excellence or superiority of some type little d it 
only relate to customer satisfaction. Uh, little c. It refers to degree of excellence or superiority of some type. Okay, excellent. So it's going to be like this one. Superiority, right? Letter C. Yes. Correct. Excellent. Thank you. So you go on this one right here. Everybody else agree or disagree? Agree. Agree. Of course. Ursula will say agree because she was there as well. <laughs> right? So thank you. Okay, so let's see in this one. Number four. Who can help me with number four? Uh huh. What number. does quality quality mm -hmm. measure? Measure. 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 Okay. He is measure the cost effective effectiveness if no no sé cómo se dice of a product. Or service, letter B, it measure how will an item or services meet a customer's the this the shares desires desires. Do you say the letter B or no? Uh, Are you yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Continue. Letter B is correct. Letter B. Yes. Okay, excellent. So let's just continue this one. So what about you people? Is that okay? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Thank you for confirming. All right, so what about number five? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Number five. Me, teacher. Uh, thank you, Nuria, go ahead. What is the primary role of the quality department in an organization? Mm -hmm. uh, is? The, is letter B, to enhance the resolution or safety of the result. Wait, which one? What are you reading, number five? This one. So you're saying this? Yes. Is that correct, people? Uh, me, letter C. Letter C, to plan measure quality. <laughs> Any other answer? Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Yeah. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. All right, so it's going to be here, letter B. Okay, so then which one is letter A? Nobody. No. But good. So we have B, C, or D. Uh huh. Which one is the correct one? Let me show you. Let me show you why. It says right here in most cases, take a look, take a look, right? So it says right here, it says, the quality department is an organization that plans, measures, analyzes, and enforces quality. This is a staff function to support other departments in the day-to-day -day improvement of product and services. So the answer is going to be which one, my friends? Letter B. Letter B, exactly. Day-to-day, -day. that's the secret right there. All right, thank you very much. What about number six? Number six, who can help me with number six? Me, teacher. Thank you very much, Noe, go ahead. Which element of quality ma management focuses on class classifying? Classify. Uh, classify quality measures for a project. Uh -huh. Uh, letter A. Letter quality a. Plan, planning. Quality planning. Yes or no, people? Yes, teacher. The yes, keyword teacher. here is measures. Yes. So it's going to be quality planning. 
correct, right? So we go on this one right here, which is this one and this one. Thank you. What about number seven? Who can help me with number seven? My friends, please. What does quality control primarily aim to achieve? Primarily aim to achieve. To achieve. Mm -hmm. Very good. So Learn. what's the answer? Learn D. D, this one? Yes. All right. What do you think, people? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. D. Letter B, teacher. Letter B. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Tenemos dos options. Let's return. Estamos en el... Eh, in a, in a primary, sorry, in a quality control. Okay, so let's go on this one. Let's go back and see what happens. Quality control, it says, the progressive attempt to support a process, honesty, and, 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 and safety. safety. Exactly. That's the reason why it's going to be letter B. So it's this one right here. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Thank you, my friends. Remember, tenemos palabras claves, like keywords, right? So we can identify that one. And then we go with the last one. Who can help me with the last one? Uh, Esteli, can you help me with the last one, please? Okay. What is the purpose of quality assurance? Mm -hmm. The answer is letter C. Can you read it, the answer, please? Overseeing day-to-day -day improvement efforts in all departments. Thank you. All right. Would you agree with that one, ladies and gentlemen? Quality assurance. Veamos dónde están los quality assurance. Uh, aquí está. The Teacher, regular... for me, is letter C. We're going to see right now. It says here, quality assurance, the regular... Uh, or recommend the actions need to offer enough security so particular service of good. Uh -huh. you say? Overseeing day-to-day -day improvements. Ah, yeah, that's correct. So it's going to be like this okay. one. Mm -hmm. Let it see. This one. Enough. Yes, this that's is the correct. Let Thank you. All right, excellent. So, guys, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or anything like this? Mm -hmm. Questions, questions? Primary, Mari. I aim to achieve. No problem. Let me help you with that one right now. So, you said primarily, right? Primary, no. Primarily. <laughs> <laughs> primarily, which is this one right here. Or primarily, primarily. actually. Primarily. 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 It's like, yes, it's just this one right here. Ante todo. Primarily. Aim to achieve. ¿Qué es? Aim is a verb eh, apuntar, right? Just the aim. Apuntar. And then achieve es lograr. There you go. And aim to achieve. It will be. Como el objetivo. A lograr. You know? Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Any other question? vocabulary or anything else no okay no problem thank you for participating by the way so let's just continue with this one okay now we are going to talk about something new which is like the customer satisfaction service and what are the important so let's see this one right here ladies and gentlemen let's just focus on this one what is a survey mm -hmm. do you know it Exactly, all right. 
There you go. A survey means una encuesta, of course, right? That's actually what it means. Okay, so let's see. Who can help me to read this first paragraph? And then another person for the second option right here. All right? The first volunteer, who is it? Uh -huh. Thank you, Ursula. Please help me. Ursula, microphone. Sorry, teacher. No problem. Customer satisfaction service can help your business increase productivity and profitability by evaluating your products and service, expectation of customers and their level of trust and loyalty to your business. For example, you can customize your customer survey to ask questions that will open up our areas of concern. Thank you very much. Now, from the things that you were reading, let's just re uh, review this one here. Okay, so, oops. Okay, so let's see this one. Thank you, um, Ursula. So you can this one, customer satisfaction service can help your business to increase productivity, all right? And profitability, all right? What is this word, my friends? Profitability. Any idea? Yes? No idea, teacher. No problem. That's going to be... Teacher. A... Yes? Sorry. Could you give us an... A synonym in order to, to try to understand, but in English. Of course. All right. So this one is. Uh, you'll send that the answer. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Too late for that one. But if for you to understand it, it's just like if you want to like explain it in English, that will be like. um To like, achieve. Like, you know, how much money you make out of a business, you know. It's like yeah. the earnings. Could be like the earnings. Earnings could be like that one, but that's just like the noun, you know, El ingreso, mm. right? So, and this one is just like uh, another noun that refers to the same thing, basically. All right. So let's see. Okay, understood. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, and welcome to the class. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> let's see. And well, now let's just continue with this one right here uh, by evaluating your products and services expectations of customers and their level of trust, right? Super important right here. The main purpose of a survey, it's this one, my friends, this one right here. Evaluating, 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 all right? Remember that we have service for everything in, um, in life, right? Politics, uh, preferences, Yes, customer satisfaction, etc. Right. Well, actually, you here in this course, at the end of the course, you are going to fill a survey. Have you done that before? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. So yeah, that's actually what you're doing. You're evaluating. In this case, it's a service, right? Um, you know, it says here the expectation of the customers. That's important, right? Because Whenever you are doing something or you buy a product or you um, get a service, so you have expectations about that, right? And the level of trust and loyalty to the business. Hey, do you remember what is loyalty? Lealtad. Yay, that's correct, right? So to business. For example, it says right here, you can customize your customer service to ask questions that will open up areas of concern. So please, Nuria, help me with the last three parts here. Okay, Chair. How your business performs comparing with your competitors? Competitors? Competitors. Mm -hmm. Whether they want to buy from you once again, mm -hmm. what your pros and cons are, and what can be improved. Thank you very much on this one, all right? So how your business performs. Remember what is performs? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry, 
uh, like desempeñar. All right, so like that one. Or if you want to say how your business is doing, if you want to say it in English, in a different, with a synonym. All right, so how your business is doing. All right, comparing you with competitors. All right, so this is like important, right? Comparing you with competitors. Why? Because we need to see like how the competitor it's doing, if it's doing better or than me or not, etc. right? And then it says here where they want to buy from you once again, all right? If they want to buy from you una vez más or oh, once again. In your pros and cons. What are the pros and cons, my friends? Can you tell me? Pros y contras. Los pros y los contras. Or advantages or disadvantages if you want to say in a synonym in English as well. Okay, excellent. So, questions about this service? Uh, whether is teacher. Which one, excuse me? In second point, weather. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's weather. Yeah, like this one. It has different meanings, all right? So uh, in this one right here, it's going to mean, well, it means ya sea, it means um, different ones, right? So that means significa así, all right? So it depends on like, uh, like the context. In this case, yo me quedaría como ya sea o sí. Sí, pero like, for example, no like to say yes. You know what I'm saying? No te puedo preguntar like, hey, do you like pupusas? And you say like, weather. No, right? That's not the C I'm talking about. Eh, sino que sí, like when there is a connection. Like, for example, like, si ellos quieren comprar tu producto una vez más. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just like that one. So please don't use weather for saying yes, like affirmation, right? So you're saying like, if there is a condition on this one. Eh, similar to ya sea. All right, that's basically like the mess, the main thing here. All right, eh, any other word? Como dijo que se pronunciaba la palabra, la primera que encerró, eh, la primera línea. Profitability? Profila, ¿cómo? Profitability. Ah, okay, thank you. All right. Profilability. 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 This is like Biribiri Bamba. No, that's Elena, right? So, no. <laughs> that is going to be Profilability. Amazing, Henry. Profilability. That's yes, that's the correct one. Thank you. All right. Excellent. So, questions? No questions? No question, teacher. All right, excellent. So, well, in this case, let's just continue with the next slide right here to see what else we have to do for tonight's class. All right, oops. So, we go on this one right here. This is on, the, on your book, so you can see it as well on your book. I guess it's page 23, um, which is this one. So, we have this. Uh, I want you to, like, practice these questions here with me. Take a look. It says, is there a quality department in your workplace? All right, so do you have a quality department in your workplace, ladies and gentlemen, yes or no? No, no, yes. no quality department? Yes, 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 yes. Right, so like, for example, in my job, which is this, um, you know, the academy where I'm working right now here, um, we have a quality department. The quality department is in charge of checking the classes, checking the videos, and see how the class is performed, if I have a presentation, if I am giving examples, etc. right? So a lot of things that they check on my class. So that's my quality department about, right? If you work in another company, for example, a factory, remember what is a factory? Yes. What is it? Fabrica. Una fabrica, thank you. Fabrica. Right? So, of course, it, it's mandatory to have um, a quality department so they can make sure that the quality of the product is exactly the same for all the products, etc. right? And then let's continue with the next one. Do they monitor and evaluate your procedures in your company, of course? Do they monitor, like, check, and evaluate your procedures? 
Personally speaking, yes, I am evaluated every week. All right, so they can check one of my classes and they can see how my classes are doing. All right, and that's pretty normal, of course, right? So, for example, in your jobs, like factories or restaurants or et cetera, right? So, uh, for example, I remember, Ursula, you said that you work in the accountability area. Is that correct? Um, yes. All right. I so make some, I make some reports for the department. Okay, excellent. So the, does your boss or do you have any quality department there who can check or body the year reports? Mm. Oh, are you the my boss? boss? <laughs> no, no, my boss reviews the Okay, okay, okay. Board. Okay, excellent. So it's I guess it's different, right? So any type of jobs because there is no process, right? So it's just like someone just doing one thing and there is not like, a big process on this one. So that's the first activity. So yes. we are going to be working in those two questions and then we are going to be working on this one right here, which is easy. Those activities or so two activities at the same time. Let's say this one. Everybody, first word, please repeat it with me. Seated. Repeat it. Seated. Seated. What is seated in this context? Mm -hmm. Exactly, sentarlo, ubicarlo. We're talking about the restaurants, right? So, eh, sentarlo, ubicarlo. Talking about the restaurants, so we're talking about like seated the customer in this one. Okay, thank you for that one. What about the next one right here, which is this one? Everybody knows this word. Dishes. What are dishes? Platos. Platos, or oh, it works also a platillos, right? Like the food. Um. then this one how, how do you pronounce the number three there is it dining or dining uh-huh what do you think dining dining. Mm -hmm. dining are you sure yes of course okay excellent yes. that's just that's the confidence i want to hear all right so and then you go on this one taking repeat taking Thank you. Thank you. And it's just like what? Tomato, right? So, and then you go on this one right here. Server. Server, server, server. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Server. So, uh, which is just like the server. It's like the waiter or the waitress. It's another way to say it. Okay. Excellent. So, you see here we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we have as well one, two, three, four, five five spaces all right right now i am going to send you guys to the breakout rooms again so you can practice the two activities first of all the activity number one to answer the questions and then you complete the blank spaces in the activity number two is that clear yes yeah, it's it's clear. Right. excellent so everybody please join again the breakout rooms you can do it go ahead Why did you stop? <laughs> uh -huh. 
Pero la. <laughs> What happened? So, Henry. In my company, um, como es no existe. The what? The process? Oh. No. No. No, ex no existe. If you want to say that, if you want to say that, you can say, for example, the, there is no quality department, for example, right? There is not quality department in your in my workplace. That's another way to say it, of course. Okay. Oh. Do they monitor or evaluate your procedures? I think maybe not. I don't know. In in my workplace, and there is no quality department, but okay. Um, but there is an area uh, that makes survey about the. Um, services of the technician department and sales department. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not a quality department. But they they pass the survey to the customer and evaluate the service. Okay. okay. Great. All right, that's actually a good answer. So there is like no department, so just like a department who creates the service, you said, right? Yes. Okay. Teacher. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. En mi caso, me estaba recordando, no existe un departamento de, de calidad, sin embargo, ya volvieron a establecer las... Ah, hasta me fue la palabra, la... Las evaluaciones de mejora continua. Uh -huh. Entonces, aunque no hay un departamento de calidad, pero sí se trabaja en esa área como, con la finalidad de, de mejorar, digamos. Ok, and I have a question for ¿Cómo you. ¿Cómo se le llamaría en eso? Who performs those, eh, those evaluations? Human resources or management. ¿Quién lleva eso a cabo? ¿Management o Human Resources? What? No, no escuché. ¿Quién lleva a cabo ese, esas? No, eh, ma lo lleva cada jefe. Eso sería Management. Mm -hmm. Management. management. Mm -hmm. So you can say, for example, we don't have a quality department, but management evaluate the employees. No tenemos un departamento de calidad, pero los, eh, o la gerencia, o los gerentes evalúan a los empleados, por ejemplo. Bien. O si quieres exactamente decir, nosotros tenemos evaluación de mejora continua, you can say something like, uh, we have an evaluation for continuous improvement. That's no problem. For? Evaluation for continuous improvement. It's in the chat right here, so you can see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you don't have questions, I will go to a different room if you don't mind. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. Okay, now complete this.
mm, what happens here? Nobody's participating, talking in anything. So you finished. Yes, sir. Yes, we finished. My God. So you were like Flash, huh? Or Sonic. Quickly, quickly. Sonic, right. maybe. <laughs> All right, no problem. I will check just one more room and then we will we'll go back to the main session, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you for participating. Say our server of the our server of the of the dishes. Perfectly. And. Dishes. 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 Um. Yo pienso que ha sido. Las la cinco. No, las cuatro dishes. No. La cuatro diamond y las cinco dichos. Pues nuestros platillos siempre son bien evaluados. Ajá, la cuatro dichos. Quiero decir, number seven. <risa> 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 Sorry, number seven. Dichos. You finished? Yes. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. All right. So we are going to go back to the main session so we can share the answers, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you, my friends. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the class, All right? I can see everybody, it's here already. And now I would like you to please help me. And I need uh, two volunteers. The first volunteer who is going to help me here with, um, with the answers for the first question, right? So let's see, who can help me to uh, answer the first two questions that we have right here? Mm -hmm. Who's my volunteer? I don't listen in. Oh, hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So who can be my volunteer to share those two answers? Mm -hmm. Yes. Me, teacher. All right. Awesome. So let's see this one. Uh huh. Who's my volunteer? You said was it Nuria? Yes, teacher. Um, okay. okay. The, Nuria, tell um, me. Is there is there a quality department in your workplace? Yes. Uh, they we were seated promptly. 
Oh no no no. We are in the questions. Oh. Okay. In my in my work, no. Mm, it's not their quality department. Okay. So remember, you can say in two ways: workplace or job. All right. So in okay. one of those two words, like in my workplace or in my job. All right. And to say no, I you can say there is not. There is no, or there is not. There is no quality department, for example. Quality department. All right, so there is no quality department. So you can say that, for example. Repeat it. There is no quality department. Very good job. Excellent, All right? So do they monitor and evaluate your uh, procedures? Or nobody checks your, your job? No checks in, in my work. Nice. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Oh, my God, that's not correct. All right. So, good, good, good. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So, one more, one more, please, for the exercise number one, the questions, for the questions. Ms. We Blue? were. Uh-huh. No, no, no. We continue with the questions. Uh -huh. Being where? Sonia, we Say are in this exercise. Number one. Yes. Yeah. The questions, the questions. The question. Mm -hmm. Oh, the question. Thing. Sorry. Oh, you, you want to participate, Henry? Hello? Me teacher. All right, excellent. No me digan ten porque entraron bastantes yes. después um, de las ocho. <laughs> in my workplace, there is not. In my workplace. Mm -hmm. In my workplace. In my workplace, there is not a quality department. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the company, we do not have a quality department, but we have two continuous employment evaluation. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you so much for that one, Giovanni. All right, so we are going to finish with this one. So number one, now, yes, we are going to be working with this exercise now. Uh -huh. What is number one? Who can help me? Uh -huh, Sonia, you can help me with number one now. Okay. I see. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, what is it? Is we were we were uh, seated promptly. Seated. Uh -huh, seated. Eso. Mm, no, eso no. Seated. <laughs> seated. Yes, excellent. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> See that. Correct. Okay. Correct. There you go. Okay, number two. Number two, the server was there to take our order quickly. Okay, nice. So we got server also. Uh huh. Number three. Okay, no problem. Okay. The server was friendly and patient when patient, taking patient. Patient. Uh -huh. patient when taking Oops. our order. Taking our order. Very good. Excellent. Uh-huh. Anybody else? For well, Sutimo dos. Another volunteer? Sonia says no more. <laughs> so let's see. Number four. Number four. Go ahead, my friend. Our server, our server coordinated coordinated the okay. timing of the dishes perfectly. 
Okay, excellent. And can you also help me with number uh, seven? Of course. And number seven, considering everything, our dining experience was a good value. All right, excellent. Oops. Thank you very much. All right, everybody. Um, well, before I let you go, do you have any question? Any questions? No questions, teacher. No questions? No more questions. All right. No excellent. Questions, excellent. We want to sleep. <laughs> hey, but you enter after eight. I'm just recovering the time. Uh, I, I was driving, teacher. No problem, my friend. Thank you. We are going to stop right here. I know it's Friday. I know you want to go to sleep. So it's time to go to sleep. Thank you for joining the class. Thank you for participating. And have a nice week. And people, see you on Monday. La homework, la homework, la homework. Uh -huh. Thank you. Bye -bye. <laughs> have a good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night.